Welcome to GCSE Pod. In this video, we're going to take a high level overview of the website. But first, a bit about us. We're an education publisher based in Newcastle upon Tyne with over 10 years of experience reducing teacher workload and supporting students reach their potential. Schools and colleges use GCSE Pod in over 40 countries worldwide, and in the UK, one third of schools have a subscription. All our content is written by expert practitioners and examiners and then created in-house. We create all of our content so you won't find GCSE Pod materials anywhere else. We're best known for our award-winning short videos called Pods, which provide in-depth digital subject knowledge to students wherever they are. We combine these pods with a suite of other resources, including self-marking homework, independently accessed assessment, which students can use a bit like a digital coach, and detailed reporting tools, which measure progress. So let's start with finding these pods. From the teacher dashboard, click teach and then select your subject. Use the navigation to select your topic area. Notice that here we are automatically being shown exam board specific materials and that's based on the setting for this school. This can be changed at any time so you can swap to a different exam board in the advanced admin area which is up here. As well as content for GCSE, we also provide topics specifically for key stage transitions. These are called getting ready for, and these are really valuable for younger and older learners. So watch out for those. Once we've chosen a topic and subtopic, we're ready to start teaching and learning. So let's watch a few seconds of this pod. In this pod, we'll consider the personality and strengths of Elizabeth I. These pods are built on the memory strategy of dual coding, which asserts that retrieval of knowledge is vastly improved when words and visuals are combined. Accessibility is also a huge priority for us. Note that on this pod, we can change the speed, so we can slow it down, we can add subtitles, and we can pop out the video if we're using this in a class environment or for an online lesson. The pods are superb for introducing a new topic in a class, either virtual or physical. They can form the basis of extension activities and discussion within a lesson. And then students can go home and revise the learning independently or use the pods to support homework tasks. Alternatively, you can flip this model on its head and actually ask the students to watch the pods independently prior to a lesson to prime them with key knowledge. This leaves the lesson time free for deeper thinking tasks and group discussion, with the pods being used at the end of the lesson to consolidate what's been taught. If you want your students to have access to these valuable videos on another learning platform, simply use the share and assign section. Here you can choose share pods and then post onto any learning platform. Just pick from the list and then follow the on-screen instructions. Don't worry though, all usage will still be monitored on GCSE Pod, so you will always be able to know what independent learning your students have been up to. To encourage active learning, we recommend using the learning activities. Each activity encourages the student to transform what they've learnt from the pod into something new, like a summary poster to cement their knowledge. Now, these activities can be completed independently by the students or they can be assigned as homework using this button here. Some topics also have check and challenge assessments. These are specialist built assessments with a scaffolded support system designed to build student confidence and help them identify misconceptions. Students can complete these assessments completely independently or you can share them using this button. Everything you've seen so far is available to students without being assigned by you. However, you can also assign the pods alongside questions to test knowledge as a formal piece of work with a deadline. These are what we call assignments and there are two types. The first is ready-made assignments. These are specialist written, topic specific assignments that combine the pods with multiple choice or free text questions. If there's one available for the topic area you're currently looking at, it will be shown here. 
Now, unlike Check and Challenge, ready-made assignments are fully editable. You can customise them, differentiate them for your students. You can also add your own questions or dive into our community question bank and actually see what other teachers have asked about this topic and copy the questions that they have set. The other style of assignment is a bespoke assignment and these are a blank canvas. You can add your own questions, define how many marks should be available, include images to enrich the questions and even import your questions from Excel if you want to transfer a piece of assessment that you already use in school onto GCSE Pod. Once these assignments are created, they go into a library for your school where they can be copied and used by all of your colleagues. To do this, your colleagues would simply go from the home screen through Assess, then into Assignments, and then click Copy a Colleagues. Whether you use ready-made assignments or create your own, all the student results will be found on this assignment dashboard. Here, you can mark work, export results, identify weaknesses within your group, and see a performance summary, which has a markbook style layout. This makes it really simple to focus your attention on the students that may need a bit of extra support. On the assignment overview, you'll also see any boost playlists that have been generated for each student. A boost playlist is a list of pods generated automatically if the student does not receive 100% in their assignment. The playlist is completely personal to each student and it allows them to fill their specific knowledge gaps independently without having to wait for you to assign them extra work. As a result, lots of people call it GCSE Pod's automatic intervention system. But you don't need to set assignments to monitor what your students are doing on GCSE Pod. The monitor and manage area is where you can view your students usage even if they've done it independently of you. All your class groups are automatically imported from your school database and the reports provided can provide a powerful insight into the level of independent learning your students are doing. Additional reporting more suited to senior leadership teams can also be found via the reports area under the compare the classroom section. So we've finished our whistle stop tour and hopefully you're ready now to dive in. To learn more about all the different areas of the site, visit the engage area where you'll find extra training materials and videos. You can also check out our help centre via the question mark icon where you'll find step by step instructions. We're also running a programme of webinars. These are free. Anyone can join at any time and you can get to those and register by clicking the green bar at the top of the screen.